Hey friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today I have my favorite soup recipe, green enchilada chicken soup. You can get the full recipe in the link in the description. Okay, so let's get cooking. We have our chicken already in the crock pot. We're gonna start off with two cans of white beans. I'm doing great northern. I know there's another kind of white bean is like cannelli or I don't know how to say it, but either one of those works. So we're gonna drain these off. You can also rinse them if you want to, but I'm not gonna do that today because my strainer is MIA. That's okay though. That's okay. If you want it to be slightly thicker, you could leave the juices from inside the cans. That's completely up to you. I normally drain them, but the starches in the cans do help thicken your soup if you want it to be a little bit thicker and more like a chili, okay? Okay, now we're going to throw in a can of enchilada sauce. I'm doing a 28 ounce, a huge can of enchilada sauce. If you want less enchilada flavor, go ahead. Go ahead and um, use the smaller can, but listen, just try the recipe as is. It's so good. Like, it's just so good. You need this in your life. It's easy and delicious. I would have been done with this recipe by now if it hadn't been for my beautiful puppies interrupting me, right? Thank you guys who are being so kind to me on this live. I know when I'm struggling, sometimes people are just not very nice. And I appreciate that you are so kind with my wild animals. <laughs> so the enchilada sauce goes right in. I need to throw in some salt and pepper. Oh, I forgot some salsa verde. I gotta grab that out of my fridge. I'm gonna throw in some pepper and some salt. We're not adding any other seasonings. I don't think it needs it. If you want to throw in a little bit of taco seasoning or some chili powder or some cumin, I don't think it needs it. I mean, just like a classic enchilada, you don't really need a lot in it because all the sauce is coming with the flavors, okay? I'm So I'm going to add a fourth a cup of salsa verde once I get off this line. When this is done, we're going to shred the chicken I'm going to stir in some whipping cream and some cream cheese. So if you think about chicken enchiladas, you're going to have the chicken in a delicious sauce. You're going to have like a sour cream sauce on top. So what we're doing is we're making, yes. we're going to do the whipping cream. So it's like heavy cream, heavy cream or whipping cream or milk, if that's what you have. And then some cream cheese. So we're getting that cheesy creaminess added to the enchilada sauce that you're getting when you purchase or like when you buy at the store, the store, the restaurant. Um, I lost my train of thought. You can buy, uh, you'll have that creaminess, okay? Then we're going to serve this with whatever toppings you want. Cilantro, pico, avocados, sour cream, and Monterey Jack cheese. Because normally when you go to a restaurant and you get chicken enchiladas, it's smothered in cheese and the delicious sauce. And then I love to serve this with corn tortillas or flour tortillas. And you're gonna cook this on low or high since it's later in the day for me, I'm cooking this on high. It'll still be ready for dinner by six. It's gonna be great. Thank you so much for saying you love my recipes. I love them too. <laughs> um, our goal here is to give you family friendly, easy recipes that you can make with wild dogs barking in the background. And even if you forget a rest, an ingredient or two, you could still do it, right? Okay, so drop the word recipe below or go to eatingonadime.com to get the full recipe. And that's it, beautiful people. I hope you love it. And once you make it, if you could please leave a review on the recipe, go to eatingonadime.com, search enchilada chicken soup. You will find this one and our red enchilada version. I'll give you a link where you can sign up for our free crock pot recipes where you get them in your email. It's completely for free. And I love sending you guys emails. It's my favorite thing to do. Literally, my favorite thing to do is to talk to you in emails and um, go back and forth. It's fun. You guys so fun. have a great day and go make you some soup. I will see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, you can get the full recipe. There's a link in the description. You can also just go to eatingonadime.com and type in the words enchilada soup and it will pull right up. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more 
of our easy, family-friendly recipes. I will see you next time. Bye, friends.